So today we've got a pair of rock ports, and these are the Rockport Active Flex Rock Sports Light MeshGuard Mudguard Dark Brown Size 11 Shoes. So these were originally listed for 110, then they were discounted for 99.99. I got them for 89.99 off of Amazon, and they were the last pair. I don't know if they're going to replenish them at some point, but. I think I got a decent deal, and uh, as you can see, size 11, that's what I wear. So let's get these things open here, and let's see what these look like. Okay, so far I like what I see. It's a good brown, dark shoe, and I got these for the summertime because they're going to be breathing a little bit more. Let's get the other shoe out of here. And let's see, got some tags in here. De wicks. That's for uh, wicking moisture out of the shoe. And then we've got a Rockport tag here. Leather is specifically handcrafted by, by tanning. I really don't know how much leather is on here. Very minimal. So, here's the shoe itself. It's a very dark brown. And as you can see, like I said, I bought this because it has a mesh uh, construction here. And it will let my Feet breathe a little bit while I'm wearing these in the summertime. So the outsole is sort of a softer rubber here, and then you have a harder rubber, these yellow parts here. You've got the Rockport branding right there, and then you have Adiprene by Adidas. I don't know if you can see that there. And uh, that must be the material here, the, the yellow material here. You've got some stitching here. You've got the ExoSoft uh, branding on the midsole and that midsole seems to be slightly slightly softer than what we've got going on here but again this is sort of a softer material here that goes to the outsole down here um, this seems like it's some sort of vinyl here all the way around the shoe here with the stitching on it I kinda like that uh, accent there then this must be the leather parts here got some leather here here around the back with the Rockport branding and that Rockport branding is in rubber with some uh, raised lettering back there. Stitching is all pretty much matching that leather maybe a little bit lighter as you can see there. Decent looking shoe, good uh, kind of dress slash work shoe depending on what kind of work you do. Uh, the laces here we've got some some uh, striped lacing here. Got the brown laces with the sort of uh, yellowish, orangish, goldish, not flashy gold, but more of a yellowy, orangey, gold kind of tone there. The insole, uh, let's see if it'll come out here. There we go. Here's the insole. It's padded pretty nicely. Not too much, we'll see how it actually fits when we have it on foot. And then down here, see the uh, inside of the shoe there. And that is that material that's right here, the ExoSoft material. So around the toe box area here, you also have that leather. And I think it's a good looking shoe. The mesh is not uh, totally clear through there. It's not like it's a water shoe or anything like that. This is more like tongue material. It's more like this, although the tongue I think is padded a little bit more than what you're gonna find here. So it should be a cool shoe. It's a fairly light shoe. And uh, let's get these on foot. <laughs> So what's the verdict on these shoes? Now, as you can probably tell, they've got a lot of wear since the beginning of this video. I've actually worn them for months, 
since I filmed the beginning of this video. And I've got to say, there's definitely some pluses and some minuses when it comes to these shoes. The pluses, right out of the gate, I like the way they look. I think they're uh, a nice spin on sort of a, a work slash sneaker type shoe. Um, they're dressy enough, but also sporty enough. Uh, there's sort of a hybrid between the two. So I like the way they look. As you can see, the soles have quite a bit of wear on them now. Um, I also like how cool they are. Now, I bought these because I wanted to wear them in the summertime. And so you have this, this uh, breathable fabric area here throughout the shoe, and uh, it makes it a lot more comfortable in the scorching summer months. So that is another plus. The durability, so far so good. I mean, the, the stitching up front has taken somewhat of a beating. And uh, I've scuffed them a little bit, but you really can't tell too much. A little bit here. But uh, all in all, the durability seems so far so good. Uh, they've lasted several months of everyday wear. So I have no complaints about that. So really the only negative that I can think of is the support. Uh, they're not very supportive in the arch area, which I personally like. I don't have very high arches or very low arches, but I do like to have some support, and I don't find that these shoes are very supportive. Um, they're good enough as far as the way they're, they feel. They're comfortable enough, but I don't feel like they give me enough support. Um, so if that's a deal breaker for you, then that's something that you should know. It's not really a deal breaker for me, but I do prefer wearing, you know, shoes that do have more of a, a support system to it in the insole. But it's, they're comfortable enough, they're not uncomfortable, and my feet do not hurt after having these on all day long. So it's a mixed bag. Uh, all in all, I would recommend these shoes if you can deal with the fact that they're not very supportive. So that's going to do it for this video. I'll see you guys in the next one.